We have been talking about uh, what happened with Hurricane Katrina, the costliest <coughs> storm in U.S. history. It brought a storm surge of up to 28 feet in some areas, wiped out uh, parts of the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It cost more than $193 billion in damage, still the costliest storm ever. Today, people are remembering the, the uh, almost 1,400 people who died in that storm when it made landfall. Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser is joining us now with how this state has been grappling with uh, Katrina, the aftermath, and now two years after Ida, too, and people are still suffering from Ida. Uh, first of all, what are your recollections from 18 years ago? Well, I rode out Katrina 14 miles from the eye on that mound of mud built above the levee where my house was. And you were in Plaquemines Parish at yeah. the time. We rode it out to protect the animals from that therapeutic riding center. Me and my wife ran uh, right after we rescued 34 people uh, that live with us, uh, started rescuing animals, feeding people, and, and never saw a politician. So that, I, that's why I ran for office. And um, uh, we went to, went to work, and I tell you, those federal levies that we were able to get for Plaquemines Parish is why we're seeing economic development down there. So that's a, some good that came out of it. And, and the money that poured into to Louisiana and to New Orleans was unprecedented. Um, and, and I've often said if, if Super Sandy uh, came in 2005 and Katrina came in 2012, it might have been a whole different story. Absolutely. And, you know, we were able to go up and help New York and New Jersey with the Sandy Act that changed the policies. A lot of things after Katrina were rebuilt. We wanted to relocate them. But the money just poured in it here did. after Katrina, and it, it didn't do it for other storms. No, it didn't. And I think we changed some things. There's probably still a lot of things need to change going forward. And we want to keep uh, Florida in our prayers for that hurricane heading there. Thank God it's not coming. And to what do you think is the biggest lesson we learned from Katrina? That we weren't prepared, and, and we, we're better prepared today with the emergency response with shelters, with pre-positioned equipment. If we do have another major storm, we're better prepared. The thing is, every year we go without a major storm, we're electing new elected officials that don't have that experience. So to keep everybody uh, on the same page being prepared, every year we don't have a storm is very important. And, and you've been a big proponent of, of restoring the coastline because we have lost so much of the coastline and it is our first line of defense. You know, if we would have took a dredge and started pumping right away, building ridges and islands. Every year our storm surge would go down, our insurance instead of going up. Uh, you know, a big opponent of the diversion. Well, well, why do you oppose the diversion? Because that's how it did naturally for years. But it's not the same river. It's a polluted river. It's going to wipe out the seafood industry and, it, and it, the dolphins will be extinct in 50 years. There's a study that shows that. We've just covered all that up and trying to talk this is going to save the coast. A diversion cannot build land above the waterline. It can't jump up and build a ridge. Why we build it? It won't lower storm surge one inch. If it builds a bunch of land below the waterline, so what? If we pump sediment eight feet, a forested ridge, next year we would lower storm surge. You do, you think we got 50 years to save the coast? Who needs a 50-year coastal and, and And why is it you sitting alone saying this and, and, and other people are saying the diversion is the way to go? Money. We've spent $300 million on a diversion. Initially, the diversion was going to cost $250 million. We've already spent $300 million. We haven't started yet. It's estimated to cost over $3 billion. And we changed the Marine Mammal Act at 11 o'clock on a Friday night when Congress does the things they don't want you to see. Instead of studying what it's going to do to seafood, that, that uh, exemption they got of the Marine Mammal Act, they're going, to, they're going to monitor for five years before they, wouldn't you want to know before you build it what it's going to do? So they're going to monitor for five years after they spend $3 billion to see if it hurts our seafood industry. Now, do you think any of the gubernatorial candidates right now are, are focusing on that? No, because everybody's drank the Kool-Aid because we've spent millions advertising why we should build this coastal project. CPRA was supposed to partner with local government to save the coast. Plaquemines and St. Bernard voted 100%. We don't want it. Why are they ramming it down our throat? Why not take a dredge and build ridges and islands that would lower our insurance rate every year and our storm surge in our lifetime? You know why we got a 50-year plan? Because we're not going to be here to prove they were wrong in 50 years. The consultants and engineers that are making a ton of money off this thing are the ones that are getting rich. If you bid out a dredge and just start pumping, it's not going to make a lot of people rich. And, and, and right now, on, on this anniversary of both uh, Katrina and Ida, uh, uh, a lot of folks uh, in, in Terrebonne, in St. John, other parishes, really still fighting to get back to normal. And this is two years after Ida. 
Absolutely. You know, the, the, the way the federal government comes in to help you is not, the money should be designated to the state and the state should allocate it out. We've got to change it on a federal level after these disasters because it ends up, we waste more money uh, because of the process. All the people that come down to work through the process, we always say if you could give the money to the states, let them spend it the best way they see to recover, we could do it a lot quicker and a lot better spent money than doing what the government tells you you need to do with the money. We've seen that in building buildings back in areas that should have been moved to safer areas. We've seen that in some of the levee and flood wall construction. Why did we build that instead of doing something that makes a little bit more common sense? But you're always fighting the federal government when they're supposed to be here to help us. All right, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, thank you very much. There will be a ceremony to commemorate Arsenal. the 164 lives Jerry lost in St. Bernard Parish today. Joseph that starts at 9.30 this morning at the Katrina Monument on Shell Walter Beach. Boston.